G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. And this behind me <laughs> is Puspus the cat. And I want to welcome you back to my backyard. I want to make another video about the Ranger bivvy bag. I mentioned about using it underneath the bivvy and way of holding it out and holding it up. I had another idea when I was um, editing the last video and I thought temperature today is 34 degrees centigrade which is about 93, 94 degrees Fahrenheit perfect weather to be out in the heat so I'm going to have a go of setting this up under the basher using the ideas I mentioned in the last video and the one I thought of whilst doing the editing so let's get this unrolled and put out. The same as last time, I'm putting the strap through the two tie-out points. And I'll be pegging either side of this. But first, let's get the, the hoop on it. Let it put it through the on the top so I can pull the hoop up. Now I think I might have bought the wrong pole down here. I think I have. Oh no, I oh know, I've got the wrong strap. That's the shoulder one. And that's the foot one, which is shorter. And that's Sid. A little chihuahua. Oh, that's the foot one. Let's just put the pegs in. Now do the chest pole. Send in. Oh, that. I haven't done. Put it through the tie up loop on this side. That's it, that's done now. Uh, 
Oh, something bit me then. I learnt on a stick that bloody hurts. And it's more like a bite. Yeah. Looks like the spider's bit on me. Alright, if I start getting sick, I'll be making a phone call. First one in. Second one in. And the final one at the head end. So there we go. That's that set up. First thing, using this under Hoochie when we're using the pole uh, support mode. Is that bottom one I can just tie around the end and that hold it in place so I'll go and do that now. So that's tied to the foot, uh, the pole. It's connected to the foot end, so that's holding it up. And we've still got play on the bungee. So there's no need to pull that down straight. What might make it a little bit better is if I just move the bottom of the poles back a couple of inches. And just by doing that, Brought the foot end up. Lift that lift a bit more. Let's brought the foot end up and open the foot box up completely. So, if you remember, if you saw the last video, I tied the bungee on to the tie out points here. And that held, once we've got both sides, it held this up. What I was thinking was, using this one I left on the top, I can bring it around underneath there and then peg it out. And that way, I'm still going to be able to fold the waterproof part all the way over and out of the way. So I'll go and grab a couple of pegs and I'll do that. And there we go, a couple of pegs here. So move that one out of the way. So peg this out. And do the same on the other side. There you go, it's holding it up, and I'm able to move that over a little bit, centre it, that's it. And I'm able to throw that back over there, and the bungee's not in the way of me actually getting inside the bivvy. And the other thing I mentioned, the last video I was doing it this way. Taking this one. So the cords I've just taken around the hoops. If I bring them up here and just use a carabiner without letting go, I can bring it around the top. Lock that in place, and it's pulling the bivy up and away. And that's how it looks on the bottom. Pigs left going at a slightly different angle because it's actually pulling it up. 
but they're still lifting it up and I suppose I could actually pin that to there let's have a look if it'll work and do this again Yeah, so the loop on top of the, the hood bit. Not brilliant, but at least it keeps this bit open a little bit more to let some fresh air in. I suppose if you need to, you could always put a prusik knot up here. So if it is raining and you want it left open, you can have that held there to stop some of the rain if you don't have the Hoochie on top, also known as a basher. The head end of this, I've set back away from the pole, so it gives me area to sit underneath here if I want and uh, cook if I need to. And the foot end, I've put right up against the actual pole because this material is waterproof, so I don't have to worry about my feet getting wet end. And I've got plenty of room either side to put my pack and that's gonna keep dry also so under the basher this uh, hoochie is working good and now we're making these slight modifications while bringing these around the top here the pegs come under so that's actually lifting it up so let's have a look take it off the peg completely okay that's lifting that up about three inches but i swear that once you get in there that's going to bring that back down so it's going to be still well away from your face that's actually better right lifting that all the way up another thing i was thinking about was just putting a couple of bungees on either side of this part so i could run uh, an actual stick coming through the bungees going through the loop there and coming through the other bungee so that will lift that up also by using the bungee going up to the top or your basher or hoochie or hoochie pronounced different in different parts of australia and known by different names in different parts of the world and that bite is stinging but nothing serious no reactions yet uh so that's the valhalla Ranger Bivy with a different way of setting it up and changing the way I actually tie it out when I'm not using the basher and I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out and I'd now bring it up to about the 9, 9 out of 10 <sighs> but with this temperature there's no way I'll be getting in there in the daytime now but there is Plenty of room to get in. Choose the other pegs and peg these back down. So now the sides are pegged down and this is holding it up. I don't know if you can see there, but there's still plenty of room to get in and out. And it's also plenty of space keep your boots in there or any odds and sods that you want and if you've got a smaller small enough pack I suppose you could put it all the way down at the foot end or even shuffle down yourself and have the pack up here so then everything's inside and you're less chance of getting creepy crawlies in your gear so I hope you've enjoyed the video and this, if this is the first time you've seen any of my videos please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell so you can be notified of all future videos and if you are already a subscriber, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.